First, make sure you have identified the correct patient before carrying out the procedure. Confirm the patient's identity verbally and check against the patient's wristband, medical notes and microbiology form. Remember, blood cultures must only be taken when clinically indicated and only done so by competent and assessed members of staff. You will need to clean your tray before you place your equipment into it. You can do this by using a detergent wipe. The equipment required are two block culture bottles, disposable tourniquet, gauze, 2% chlorhexidine, alcohol wipes, 2% chlorhexidine, an alcohol applicator, chaps container, plaster dressings. Place your equipment on the tray, checking all the equipment is in date and all packaging is intact and unopened. Next, decontaminate your hands using alcohol hand rub, allowing to air dry before proceeding. Next, open pack packaging, ensuring key parts remain covered and are not compromised. Once you take your trolley or tray to the patient's bedside, apply your apron. Fill in the patient's details on the label on the block culture bottles. Mark a level on both bottles to indicate where to fill to for 10 ml of blood to be collected. Before selecting a vein, and palpating the area, ensure your hands are decontaminated by using the alcohol hand rub, allowing to air dry before proceeding. Also, decontaminate the block culture bottles as shown. Inspect both arms for a suitable vein. Try and prioritise the patient's non-dominant side. Apply the tourniquet and palpate. Clean the skin, as shown. Always collect the blood into the aerobic bottle first. Activate this safety device as shown.
Discard the safety needle into a shaps container. Remove apron and gloves. Then clean your tray. Document the procedure in the medical notes. Thank you.